welcome back. This is going to be another video on higher tier arcade battle air or battle rating 9.3. So these are going to be um, the jets, some early missile carrying jets, but mainly jets just before we get into the missile meta. And I wanted to just kind of give some commentary on uh, some gameplay here. Uh, the F-105 at this battle rating does uh, white bases pretty fast, so it's definitely one to uh, focus on here. I ended up getting up tiered into basically a 10.0 match with my 9.3. I should have taken my my SMT MIG here. I uh, won't be able to really catch the 105. I can try, um, so I'm going to switch to my R3S missiles. They're not very good for G pull, but Maybe someone that's not paying attention, I might be able to catch them. Uh, the 105 definitely need to be taken out first. At least that's how I would approach it in an arcade battle. Because uh, these have already wiped out two bases, or one of them's already wiped out a base. The other one went for some ground targets. Um, they could have taken out, you know, two bases right off the bat out of our four. I'm going to try to chase him. Move it, taking it out or forcing our one of our players to make a mistake here. Just up, shy of my gun. I'm gonna try and uh, get an angle on him. Got him. I bled a lot of speed in that process, and so I need to get my speed back up. At least that 105 is down. Looks like both 105s are down. And that player just came in just with the 105 just to take out a base and, and quit, which ends up happening a lot more these days in, when you get up into the 9, 10, and 11.0 games. You have a lot of players with only one jet because they're trying to grind out a tree. It does suck for... Um, Your team, if you have a bunch of players with only one plane and they quit, your team ends up crumbling. So, unfortunately, that's just part of the the way arcade battle battles are. I know in in real battles, that's you only get one spawn anyway, so you got to choose wisely. But here, F five. Looks like there's not very many jets up for the enemy team now. So I'm going to try and go after this prop down here. That B-17 looks like it might burn to death. So I'm hitting my afterburner and I'm diving down as fast as I can. Almost getting up to Mach. There we go, Mach. And I don't even know. I might be able to get a missile lock on him. I might not. Let's see. I was able to get a, a shot on him. And he's on fire. So let's see if he'll survive that and put the fire out. He's still going. And there, there's a, his wing is damaged. And he may not be able to put this fire out at this point. Okay, he's dead. So we'll now. Reset. There's only two jets left on the enemy team. Mid-19 in this F5. Um, we have an A5 on our team that doesn't seem to have gone for the F. Oh, there he goes. He's going after the F5, and I'll let him focus on that. Here, which are at 104 is engaging uh, in and head on, like they both got each other. Let's see if we can't get a shot on him. Wow. And base AA is really strong, so I guess 
I'm not gonna survive this, so I'll try to take out some of their AA defenses. Yeah. That was a really strong hit. And as soon as I got hit, I was burning. I haven't had that happen yet. Take my MiG-19 out and try to go after the other MiG-19. I think that team's hanging up really, really high. I guess it's trying to come in and take some boom and zoom shots. I'm going to turn my radar off so he doesn't get a bunch of ping warnings that I'm focusing on him. And most players are aware and they keep an eye on what's around them. I'm even checking around me regularly because always a good habit to build into when you're playing because you don't want to just tunnel in on an enemy and not check around you because someone could be coming in to pick you off as you're just about to get that gun kill or missile kill. Okay, I got a crit on him. I don't know if he's going to be able to maneuver that well. It looks like his elevators are gone. I think he's going to go into the ground. There we go. And this carrier, I think she's, yeah, he's on my pick. And he's going after our 105. Let's see if I can loop back in and try to get a deflection kill or maybe a missile. I'm not a good angle for a missile, but their AA is so close to me here. Okay, shoot just ahead of him. There we go, got him. Go another MiG-19. Try again here. Straighten out and... Here on um, anticipating and trying to get a, a scissoring move onto me, so I'm trying to position myself. So now I'm buttering down, and he's going to try to get right on me. So I will rotate. Just trying to stay out of his gun position here. Very close. That was very close. And their base is lighting, lighting me up now, so we're taking some damage. Got him. Right in that deflection angle, I was able to get him. I need to go back to base and repair, but at least that MiG-19 is down. It's just a, an A4 and a P-47 at this point. Which our team just got the P-47. Even at this distance, that AA hit me again. So, pretty much yellow all over. My pilot's hit. So we need to make it back and get repaired. And hopefully by then, um, the match will pretty much be at, at the end. I need to cut my throttle. And I need to make a wide turning circle so I can make my approach. Getting under 500. Gonna hit my air brakes and my gear. Should be able to land it nice and soft. There we go. Hit the brakes. And 
and we're about to get this victory, which is great. We got two kills with this plane, which is nice. And almost fully repaired, so we can turn back around and scramble back into the air. Full throttle, and game's over. Well, that was a pretty quick match overall. The other team ended up crumbling pretty fast once they got rid of their bomber, their jet bombers, and they started flying in with props.